Hi everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Gaballa. I'm a consultant uh, interventional cardiologist in Mbisha Hospital in Nairobi. When you watch the movie about the coronary angiogram, that means that you have been referred by your doctor to have that examination done. You come first to the cath lab. The nurse will uh, meet you and she will put a venous uh, access or a vein flow in your hand. It's not very painful. You will feel just a small stick. And then after that, she will be able to give you some fluids and even drugs during the procedure. We need few tests to be taken before we do that examination, especially the kidney function test, because in some patients the contrast that we give might affect the kidney function. We monitor the heart rate, the blood pressure, and the amount of oxygen in the blood, and we record all these information. The nurse and the doctor will explain the procedure again to you and you have to sign a consent. The consent uh, taking is a very important part of the process because you have to know what are the complication, what the possible hazards can come of the coronary angiogram. The procedure, it takes about five minutes. The complication is uh, very low. It's not more than 0.1% if it is done through the arm, and it is about 4% complication if it is done through the groin, and this from uh, the Scandinavian study. In MPSHA, we do about 99% through the radial artery, which is then situated in the lower part of your arm. So after full explanation to you about the procedure, about the complication rate, and you sign the consent, you will be transferred inside the cath lab itself. The nurses start to uh, prepare himself uh, by washing in the hands and the arms with hip scrub, which kills all the bacteria. The procedure should be done under aseptic technique and environment, no bacteria at all. The nurse have even uh, led around because of the x-ray protection. Then after that, uh, you will put on Israel uh, uh, gowns and gloves so to ensure that there's still a septic technique during the whole procedure. And the same for the doctor, this is the x-ray protective uh, clothes, which is made of lead and it will prevent any damage from the amount of x-ray that we are exposed to, even to protect the neck because of the thyroid uh, gland. This is only for the staff. Then we cover the hair and we have a mask as well. And then again, we have to wash the hands and the arm. So the nurse will prepare everything that we will be using and he will be washing the area that we going to use. If it is the radial artery, it will be in the lower part of the arm and we have to prepare even the groin in case that we need to go through, through the groin with other stuff. We take up a few drugs including the local anesthetic, some nitroglycerin, which will open the artery and make it easy for the patient and for us to pass the catheters. We put a big gown, both with two holes, one of them on the groin and the other one on the wrist. These are the two sides that we have two arteries that we can use to get an access to the circulation. So we have a spotlight now on uh, the wrist where I'm going to puncture the radial artery and then I put a very small clip of local anesthetic above the artery and just wait until the local anesthetic is taken by the body and then a needle and a wire. So now the needle is in the radial artery and it's uh, bleeding. So I go with a tiny wire, go through the needle into the artery, and it has to go very easy, not to damage the artery. I take out the needle, and then I will place a tube 
which is about 1.7 or 1.6 millimeter. It goes all the way through the skin into the artery and then take out the wire itself, which I use as a train or as a railway, and then fix the tube with a tape. And as soon as the tube is in place in the radial artery, we will be giving drugs, the same like now, which is nitroglycerin, and that nitroglycerin and verapamil will make the artery to dilate, not to be tight. You will be monitored during the whole procedure with ECG monitor and continuous blood pressure monitor and even saturation, which is the amount of oxygen in your body. So the, through the whole procedure, which takes about five to 10 minutes, you will be very monitored. We use what's called manifold. This is the contrast now filling. And the contrast or the dye, it is visible on the X-ray. It becomes dark in color on X-ray. We have to be sure that there's no air bubbles. This is the coronary catheter, which will go all the way from the wrist until it reaches the coronary artery. Everything goes inside the body. We have to use a wire, not to, to damage any artery because of the catheter itself. So the wire goes always before the catheter goes in. The tip of the catheter is always curved and it can damage the artery if we don't use the wire. Here is the wire going and the catheter behind the wire until it reaches down to the heart. This is the aorta here, the ascending aorta. So we have to go to the ascending aorta, which goes or start from the heart and goes to all body. Then after that, we take out the wire and we start to look for the coronary arteries. Normally there are two coronary arteries, one on the left and one on the right. So we inject the contrast so we will be able to look for the position and then we rotate the catheter until it jumps into the coronary artery and then we start the procedure. And we see all the arteries, we study all the arteries to see if there's any narrowing or blockages. We take different views to see the images and if there is any narrowing, it will be more obvious. And here is the right coronary artery. So for the right coronary artery, we normally take two or three pictures. And then after that, we put the wire again, because we can't pull the catheter without the wire. We put the wire and then we pull the catheter over the wire until it comes out from the body. You are awake during the procedure. There's no complication, and as I said, it takes about 10 minutes. After that, we take out the tape, and then we will take out the introducer or the plastic tube, the first plastic tube we put in the wrist. So the nurse will wash again from any blood spill, and then it will put a band around the wrist, which is called TR band. We fill it with air, about 15 cc air, becomes a balloon which will press on the artery itself. Then we pull out the introducer which comes out smoothly without any pain. We just to check the hand that the pressure is not very tight and the patient will be able to move all the fingers. Then after that he will be walking out of the cath lab after finishing his procedure without any complication. After the procedure, we have to, to look at the band that there's no bleeding, there's no pain, and the patient will start to eat breakfast and will be staying in the cat lab for another two or three hours and for the doctor to go and discuss with him the finding of the coronary angiogram.